Hey guys, this is Tyler here and I want to discuss a quick topic here and that is why people who are living abroad should not focus a lot of time on foreign friends. There's a lot of people that live outside their home countries now. Whether they're nomads, they're long-term residents or citizens, there's all sorts of arrangements. There's pro athletes, students. Th this has become such a common thing in the 21st century. I've spent at least four years living outside my home country. It's been an interesting experience. What I have found though is that friends don't matter as much as people think they do, especially as a foreign person. I would also urge you to focus on finding friends of that country. Don't find a bunch of foreign friends. This is why. When I lived in Chile, this was about five or six years ago, most of the people that I still talk to today are Chilean. I, I still am in contact with these people. I, I'm on good basis. If I went to Chile, they would let me stay with them. I have good relations with these people. Most of the foreign people, on the other hand, that I knew, I don't even talk to. I don't have many of them anymore on social media. The, most of these people completely out of my life. When I look at other places that I've lived, like Russia, it's the same way. Foreign people that I've known in these places, or in th that place, it's been kind of the same thing. The people that I'm still in contact with today are Russians. They're not foreign people. This is really important people understand this, especially foreign people, because people, foreigners have a tendency to just waste time to party, to spend a bunch of time with foreign people rather than focus on the country and culture within and, and, and start focusing on the people there or focusing on yourself, self-improvement. This is a big term nowadays and this is really important because this is what's going to make you survive. This is what will make you last long term. What I found, most of these foreign people that I knew when I was living abroad, like in Chile, they had no interest in staying abroad in Chile. They were not going to stay there long term. And many of them just looked at it as long term trips or vacations. They also often don't have the same level of respect, regard for people that they're meeting abroad, whether it's people that are from that country or foreign people like them. And, and this is a huge unfortunate thing and it's important to realize early on because you may be wasting a lot of time with these folks and you could be way better bettering yourself by focusing on your day-to-day -day life rather than these people what also happens is a lot of melodrama within there's often kind of clashing there's a lot of negativity i i've i've known girls in these countries that were friends that would have falling outs and, and whatnot because there was just such an unnatural state for that particular country. I had a former roommate when I was in Chile. He had so many different acquaintances and friends in Chile, but most of them were foreign. He had had a falling out with at least two different people that he, he traveled with around South America as far as I know today, he does not talk to these people. These were quote unquote friends of his. Th th this is just one example. Th this is so common. Now also understand that the kind of foreign people often that are traveling in these countries are more the bohemian type. And when I say bohemian, I mean they kind of just move around, they're nomadic. Nomadic people typically, they don't use phones. They, they, they don't like stay in contact with people. I, I mean, we saw, we saw this historic times with nomadic people, and it's kind of the same mindset with these nomadic people. They they really don't care. You're there today and probably gone tomorrow. It's sometimes not intentional. It's just the mantra of these people. When you're with them, they'll be very hospitable, very gracious. But when you're gone, they may not. You may not hear from them again. Whereas if you focused on people of that country and growing those relationships, that might lead to good business opportunities, definitely bettering your your stay in that country, and just more sustainable long-term opportunities. And just a way to connect with someone that's not necessarily looking for something out of you 
in that country because that's the other problem many of the foreign people will be looking for something out of someone it happens also with with the people domestic people but you usually can find those domestic people that just enjoy your presence easier than these foreign people this is been my experiences and there's no question you'll meet great foreign people in these countries but just understand the big picture here and i appreciate your feedback thank you